Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of the Success Codes podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet, and I am super excited you're here with me today. Today, I want to talk about undoing some boundaries. Yes, (laughs) as we all are probably very aware, there is a lot of conversation, narratives, sound bites, memes, you name it, content in general on boundaries and setting boundaries, holding your boundaries. I've heard so many times like I would be a gazillionaire if I counted all my nickels. And I believe in boundaries for sure, but I also believe in re-looking at some boundaries and not just going on autopilot in terms of your boundaries. And I'm going to share two very specific examples that happened to me in the last six months. One is extremely recent. The other one is about maybe three, four months ago. I don't remember. And they really shed a lot of awareness on this topic And especially in conjunction to my goals, my vision, how I am, how I be, and all those things. And I think that's where people are missing the boat on some things in their life that they really want to manifest, is if they automatically put up this wall and go, no, no, I'm setting a boundary, I'm setting a boundary, right? then they miss out on things. They miss out on things that the universe is trying to deliver to them. The universe is trying to give you the things you are asking for, and you may be missing out on them because you put up a boundary. So I'm going to share the first story. And the first story has to do with another coach. And by no means is there anything negative about this coach. At all. This just happens to be context for a story to share so you can look at something if you are doing this too. Because this is something, especially if you are a coach or someone who's a mentor or even a business consultant, that you will probably run into if you haven't already. And I think it's really important and important to be discerning and really approach this specific conversation from a more mature, widespread lens. And that is people wanting to pick your brain. It happens all the time. It's happened to me for years. And I have had many, many scenarios with this. And what I have learned with a mature lens from being in this lane for quite a long time is I look at each situation separately. When someone wants to have a coffee or have a Zoom or um, set up some time with me, I don't automatically throw up a wall that is shutting out any conversations with the assumption that they're trying to get information from me for free. Because that is really what is taught out there is definitely like put up the wall, put up the boundaries because that person's trying to get information from you for free and you should charge for your services. Okay. I do believe in charging for my services for sure. But again, with a mature lens, I can handle the conversation if someone is trying to get information from me for free and kind of like go around, you could say go around the back door, right? I've heard that saying many times before. So if you are someone that says that this is nothing personal, I I truly have heard that many times. And I recently heard it too. But I, again, being a mature adult and having been a leader for a very long time, especially in the corporate world, I'm very good at managing conversations and being like, okay, I I can see what this person's trying to do. I can feel their energy and I can manage it. I can handle it. I don't have to shut everything down with such a firm boundary. On the flip side, I definitely can feel someone's energy if there's someone that is definitely trying to do that. And for sure then, I will be like, hey, no, these are my prices, you know, check out my website, and we'll go from there. So again, I'm very adept at managing 
and understanding the energy of what they're trying to do and then how do I want to handle it, right? And maybe it is someone that I would like to get to know that I think could be either a relationship or a collaboration or a client and I may still decide to have a coffee with them but again, I'm really good at managing the situation. So what happened to me a couple months ago was I had purchased some lower ticket programs, some um, like Facebook Live things from a fellow coach. And I liked them, they're good. She happens to live in Florida. Now, she had, I believe, I'm trying to remember this, reached out to me in the DMs and I um, res- responded back and was, um, I put out there that where she lives is somewhere that I would like to live and I go there often and would she ever be open for breakfast or lunch, that would be great. And I could feel that she thought I was trying to go in the back door. And I wasn't because honestly, I'm complete with her. I'm not her client per se. Yes, I did buy some courses from her and they were good, but I'm not her client. I'm not her target audience. I'm even older than her. And I have different experiences. I have a different vision. So I feel very complete with her. And I actually truly was thinking as I reached out to her that it could be a great collaboration, maybe a friend, and I could definitely actually help her. (laughs) I could actually help her with thoughts on her programs and even a testimonial. So quite frankly, I could actually be helping her business by us having a conversation. But she shut the door because she classified me as her client and had the energy that she thought that I was going around the back door to have this, you know, let's say free coaching session with her or something like that, you could say. And that was so not true. And I wasn't triggered at all by her response and reaction at all. And quite frankly, a couple years ago, I probably would have been. I was definitely in a different place when I started my coaching business and I've done so much energy work around all these thoughts and feelings that pop up in this lane and now I see it so clearly in other people. So that's the thing about being a mentor is like you've walked the walk, you've done the things and you can help other people on the same journey that you were on without any judgment because you were there. (laughs) You were totally there, I get it, I see you. And so I see this, right? So again, there was no judgment, only love. And honestly, my thoughts was when I read her response and I could feel the energy, I was like, gosh, you're just missing out. You're missing out. You're missing out on a great connection. You're missing out on um, some great insight that could really help your business. And you know, that's okay. That's okay. Maybe some other time, maybe something else will pop us back into the same universal sphere. But for now, I totally see you. It's all good. I'm moving on. So I, with that knowledge of what happened to me, I, again, that just increased my awareness to make sure that I was being very discerning in the different energies if people approached me for the same thing. That's example number one. Example number two is actually something that just happened to me. So I had had that story. I was like, you know, I I always write down all my stories and all the downloads and different things that come to me. I get so many things. I always write them in my journals. I don't take like extensive time to write. I just kind of write down the date, the names, what happened to me. And then, gosh, I have so many journals. I could write so many books. (laughs) It's actually bananas. But the second thing that actually just happened to me, it happened to me between Thursday and Friday. So I'm recording this Saturday morning. So Thursday, I had a super busy day here in the Keys. I literally was back to back starting at dropping my dogs off at nine o'clock in the morning to get groomed. So I had my day strategically planned back to back all over the board type of appointments and meetings and Zoom calls I had to be on. And they were all different energies. Um, One was a training, one was collaboration, one was an interview for the paper, I had errands to run, I had phone calls to make, I had a client. So my energy was like, like shifting gears, like all over the board. And I didn't have time in the middle of the day to do my grounding exercise and ritual that I always try to do in the middle of the day to kind of like reset 
and um, re-energize, um, you know, where I am, just really just resets the better word, to get back to neutral and then start over. So I didn't have time to do that. So Ryan came home from fishing at the end of the day, and he says to me, I'm sitting at the table, I'm sitting by my computer, I'm trying to get caught up on emails, and he says, oh, did so-and-so reach out to you about such and such? And I was like, no. And he's like, are you sure? And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm like, totally sure. Like, let me double check. Maybe I missed something. And so I looked through all my emails. I have two phones. I checked both phones. And I'm like, no, I, I don't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, oh, well, that's really weird because they seem very confident that, you know, someone reached out to you. And I said, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. Well, I know her. So let me just call her. I have her cell phone in my phone. So I call her and I get her on. The, she gets me on the phone. I call her. She calls me back. And she explains what's going on. And I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. And then she explained where the communication was. So I saw that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally get it. And my immediate response, which I realized is part of this, it was from my subconscious, was this little wall went up of that's not what I do. When she told me what was going on and she told me the request, this little wall went up of that's not what I do. And I can't remember exactly how I said it to her, but it wasn't anything mean because I think it was all overall like an amazing thing that was going on. I had that reaction. I <laughs> had that reaction. So I said to her, I said, well, I'm not in um, a place to approve anything about this, which is absolutely true. I'm not. I said, but let me do the communication. I'll CC you and we'll see where this lands. She said, fine. So I did the communication that I needed to do, and honestly, then it was like, I want to say after 6, like 6.30, and I realized Ryan was sleeping. So Ryan had literally fallen asleep on top of the bed, and I was like, dude, are you tired? He's like, yeah, I'm just out of it. I'm really tired from fishing. So I'm like, okay, cool. Go to bed, and I'm going to come to bed too. So I went to bed and did my evening ritual of meditation. I obviously needed it after my super busy day. And so I did my meditation and I fell asleep actually with my headphones on, which is very strange. That never happens. So that's how tired I was. I was just tired. I was out of it. And when I woke up in the morning, I did my morning ritual. So I'm sharing a lot of rituals with you in this podcast here. I did my morning ritual where I don't get up right away. And I've done this for a very long time. And I swear to you, if you can get in the habit of this, this is life changing. I'm giving you a massive tip here. The first thing I do is give all of my gratitudes. I'm like, give gratitude for everything. I give gratitude my, for my day going perfectly. I give forward gratitude. And I give all sorts of gratitude. And then the next thing I do is I always ask, what do I need to know today? And then I wait. I wait. Now, because my channel is so open and I've been doing this work for years, messages come to me very quickly. If this is something new for you and you are not at the same level, that's okay. I don't want you to give up. If you feel like trying this, do not give up. This may take you, I, I can't even put a time on it because I don't know you, I don't know your level, but if you're an overthinker, if, you're, if you don't meditate, um, if, if you're not clear, I, I, you know, it could vary your length in this journey. But for me, in a response comes so fast, like literally like within 30 seconds, I'll get a response. So the response I received from the universe was silly. You need to ask for that. You need to ask for that. And I was like, oh yeah, I get it. I see. I see you. I see how stupid I was being, how 3D I was being, how autopilot I was being in saying, oh, it's not my role. I'm like, well, why can't it be my role? Like, yeah, it's not exactly what I always do, but there's no reason why I can't do that and no reason why I wouldn't take advantage of such a fucking amazing opportunity on so many levels. So I started laughing right away because you should laugh with the universe and I was laughing, and I was like, just like hitting myself on the head basically while I was laying in bed, like, duh. And I got up and I took action, right? After I made the coffee and took the dogs out, I took action 
and followed that breadcrumb. This is a life-changing thing I'm sharing with you. Everyone talks about manifesting. How do I manifest? I don't do this. La, 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 la. So you can clog your channel with all the shit that's out there on the internet, all these coaches that really don't walk the walk. But I'm telling you straight up an amazing tool that is free. You just got off my podcast that will change your life in terms of following your following the breadcrumbs from the divine from the universe from god from spirit from your higher self however you want to put it and really making a change so what i realized was that yes i had a boundary that who knows why it was there just from conditioning of I do this or I do that or what's you know there's also what's my niche I mean all that bullshit I cannot stand and it's just like oh my gosh take the opportunity take the opportunity because honestly if I didn't take the opportunity the opportunity is going to go with somebody else right well that's just stupid and this is an opportunity that is perfect for me. It's such a perfect fit, again, on so many levels. So I'm super excited. Hopefully I'll share more. But um, this is where it stands at this moment as I'm recording this podcast. But yes, I did get the opportunity. I did get the approval um, with probably the person not even blinking an eye. And um, yeah, we're rolling. So anyhow, so be very mindful. Have awareness around your boundaries. Don't just live on autopilot, putting up this wall. It's like, nope, nope, I don't do that. Nope, I can't do that. Nope, nope, not going to talk to that person. Not going to do that. Like take a beat. Like if it's not really a clear thing, a clear yes, a clear no, like take a beat. It's okay. Like do a little research. Take a moment to think about it. Sleep on it, right? Isn't that like the oldest meme in the book? Sleep on it. And there you go. I slept on it. I actually did the meme. (laughs) Sorry, I cracked myself up. So I actually did the meme. I slept on it. And then I woke up and the universe was like, yeah, silly girl, you're the one that needs to ask for this. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. Here we go. So I hope you like this podcast. Please connect with me. A high 70 sessions can help you so much with this and start to open up your intuition. I'm just a conduit for the energy. The energy is more powerful than Reiki. This is not hooking yourself up to a machine. This is the real deal, people. Seventh dimension is the energy of the angels. This is the real deal. And working with me, you will learn so much. This is amazing work that I do. My one-on-one coaching is beyond next level. I meet other coaches all the time, and I'm really sorry, but There is just a lot of gateway coaches out there, and that is amazing. Work with a gateway coach. Work with someone who, let's say, does one modality or a few modalities. But then after you do those modalities, what's going on? What is going on in your brain? Are you actually taking advantage of the fact that you just had your DNA changed? What are you doing with that, right? That's where I come in. I am your next level coach. I'm your next level mentor. I'm your next level business consultant. So I help you get to the place that you want to go quicker than if you did it alone or if you just kept doing, let's say, the little gateway things, the sound bowls, the EFT, following a bunch of people online, listening to a bunch of podcasts, talking to this person for free, then going over here and talking to that person for free, then doing that person for free. That's fine. That's all fine. Believe me, I have filled my boots with all that stuff too. I get it. That's why I know that that is the slow road. That is the slow road. So it's your decision. It's your choice. It's your life. But let me tell you, if I had to do it all over again, I would have a mentor like me. So thanks for listening. Reach out if you're interested. And until next time.